So for this problem, this is the day that we came in early for the OGT. Um, we got that worksheet, and this is what we were working on. Um, we had, this is part of that problem. We have the integral of e to the x minus 1 over e to the x dx. Um, so our first step that we have to do here is we have to split the fraction into two parts. So we're going to have the integral of e to the x over e to the x minus 1 over e to the x. All of that still with d of x. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and split the integral once I figure out how to do this. Uh, yeah, We're going to go ahead and split up our integral into two parts because then that will be a lot easier to integrate because e to the x will cancel down into just one and we can integrate that pretty simply. So um, we'll call this uh, the integral of e to the x over e to the x minus the oh dx. Don't forget your dx when you split your integrals. Uh, yeah, I want that. Um, dx minus the integral of one over e to the x dx. So I'm gonna keep moving down here. Um, this will just the first integral will just simplify to the integral of dx. Well, dx times 1, but we don't have to notate that. Minus um, the integral of 1 over e to the x dx. Um, so we can integrate the first term pretty simply. We know that that's just going to be x. Um, minus the integral of 1 over e to the x dx. Now what we did on the day um, that we came in early is that we just called this ln of e to the x. Um, but we can't really do that. We have a specific um, identity that we have from one of our integrals, from one of our integral sheets that we were given at the beginning. Um, and so we can't just call it ln of x, which would just be x. We were told that um, the integral of a to the u du is equal to a to the u over ln of a then plus c. So for this problem, what we're going to do here is that we're going to write this integral in terms of, we can just have it of A of U. So what we're going to have to do there is that we're going to have to get rid of that fraction. That's pretty easy because what we're going to do is just use some of our algebra rules and we're going to call this X minus the integral of uh, E to the negative X dx. And so we're going to go back to this form right here to integrate that second portion. Um, so we're going to slide down here, and we're going to keep keep the x coming, and we're going to subtract. I want to find. Um, so it's a to the u. Well, in this case, a is e, and u is negative x. So we're going to say call this e to the negative x over ln of a, which is just going to be e. Then, of course, plus c. Never want to forget your constant. Um, as you keep moving down here, if you look in your denominator, you have an ln and an e, which those terms will just cancel. So you're going to be left with x minus e to the negative x plus c. And you simplify that one more time to get that negative sign out of your exponent. So you're going to get x minus 1 over e to the x plus c. And that is your final answer. Uh, come back next time to hear more.